Hi, welcome to White Glove Geography today. Uh, we're going to look at development indicators and particularly we're going to look at GNI, uh, one of the development indicators uh, which talks about gross national income. Uh, this is one of the development indicators that we looked at from the previous video. Here we've got the overview. Just as a quick summary, we have GNI, gross national income, birth rates, death rates, infant mortality, life expectancy, people per doctor, education, access to safe water, and the composite index, which is HDI. Those will be covered in separate videos. Here's what we covered last time. GNI stands for gross national income, and it's measured in US dollars. So whatever the currency in that country is, it's converted into US dollars, so it's easily comparable. It's a measure of the goods and services produced in that country that makes money, also any interests in companies abroad. Divide that by the number of people and they end up with a GNI per person or sometimes called per capita. Let's take a simple worked example. Let's say in a country, a thousand dollars is produced, the goods and the services, and there are maybe 50 people in that country. That gives a GNI, a thousand divided by 50 is $20 per person, per year, GNI. Now, of course, that's a simple work example. It's not going to be many countries that are going to be in that situation. So let's take an example of the United Kingdom. Uh, let's put the calculator in front of us. In the United Kingdom, depending which data you look at, let's take uh, our income, our goods and services, as 2 trillion, 666 billion dollars per year. There. So that's two trillion six hundred and sixty six billion dollars per year. Divide that by the number of people in this country, let's say sixty two million. What does that result as? On average, the GNI per person is forty three thousand dollars per year. And bear in mind, I said dollars, not pounds, because it's all converted into dollars per year. Now, GNI is a good indicator. It tells you about wealth in a country, how much money they have coming into the country based on goods and services. Uh, therefore, that can be spent on education, on healthcare, on infrastructure, on roads, and it links to many of the other indicators. However, it does have some limitations. So here's one of the limitations. One of them is it's an average. So in some countries, there might be a handful of really, really rich people. However, there might also be a large number of people on very, very low incomes. Uh, on average, that would mean that the GNI might look quite good, but it doesn't tell you between of the spread of wealth in the country. There might be some very, very rich people and some people on very low incomes. Also, we have the conversion rate. People who've been abroad and change their money into maybe euros or dollars will understand that sometimes your money buys more euros or buys more dollars. Uh, and at the point that the conversion rate takes place, that's how the GNI is calculated. So it might go up, it might go down, just based on today's conversion rate. Finally, purchasing power. The purchasing power of a pound in our country, we know what that would buy us. However, if you go to some countries and you have a pound, you can buy an awful lot more because the cost of goods is a lot less. However, in other countries, uh, the pound that you have, that might buy not a lot at all because it's worth less in that particular country. So it doesn't take into account that. So let's say in a country, a $840, that might be in some countries, the GNI per person, and it looks low. However, it might be the case that $840 actually gives you a lot of purchasing power because the cost of goods and services is actually quite low. So, in summary, we have GNI. We've got the limitations, which are it's an average, uh, the purchasing power is worth different in different countries, and the conversion rate, it depends on that day what the conversion rate is. Sometimes it goes up, sometimes it goes down. What is GNI? It's measured in US dollars. 
and all currencies are converted into that so it's easily comparable between different countries it's a measure of the goods and the services in the country divided by the number of people which gives a GNI per capita or per head. Thank you for watching today. That was Development Indicators, GNI, Key Aspects and Limitations.